Good morning everyone, day 65. Today is uh, an important day. Uh, firstly, may the 4th be with you. Um, yeah, happy Star Wars Day to everyone. Uh, also, election day. Behind me you've got the polling station, I'm going to go in there, cast my vote because that's incredibly important. Um, now, I, I... It sounds really stupid, but here's a little challenge for you. I'm going to go cast my vote, and whilst I'm doing that, consider this. Which of these three things are you not allowed to do on election day? Is it vote whilst drunk? Is it wear a pin badge with a party name on? Or is it use your own pencil? Which one of these are you not allowed to do? I'll go vote, and I'll see you in a few minutes. Well, I mean, as far as you're concerned, it's going to be a jump cut, but for me, it's going to be a few minutes. Okay, that's me voted. Didn't get a sticker this year. Frumpf. Oh, in case you're wondering. If you said drunk, no, you're actually allowed to vote whilst drunk. That's purely because you're actually casting your own vote to the best of your ability. They can't stop you. And if you said use your own pen, nope, that's fine as well. You can use your own pen. Because there was a talk a while back about pens that could be rubbed out and stuff, but um, nope, you can use your own pen if you wish. You're actually not allowed to wear a badge or anything that says who you're voting for, because the whole point about an election is it's meant to be anonymous. No one is allowed or supposed to be able to trace back who you voted for, just in case that they may be able to bribe you at a future election or intimidate you to a point you vote for a different party. True story. So yeah, that's the important bit. Now I've got to do something even more important. Priorities. As for the rest of the day, whilst my coffee brews, um, I helped out my son's school today. They have what's called a Siam's inspection. It's because it's a church school. Um, occasionally they have to be audited to see how the message, you know, of you know it being a church school is, is carried across. Um, and it was nice to be able to go in there and, and tell them that everything that's happened over the past few months, I mean, that wasn't great, but to be able to explain to them that, you know, that the, you know, things like with Mother's Day, the kids went out their way not to make Mother's Day cards on that day, but to actually make Seb cards, you know, so that he knew he had, you know, friends in the class who were looking out for him. It was really... It was really, it was really sweet to have that at the time. It was very, very nice to explain to people that, you know, if you're instilling these morals into children, that you know they're carrying them forward and actually using them. So, you know, I spent an hour talking to these people, just trying to explain everything. It was all like a group of us. It's all like five or six parents, and you know, it's one of those things where you get talking to other parents, and you're sort of like, oh yes, my child has mentioned your child before, so. Yeah, let's let's hang out in future. So it's really weird. Um, but yeah. So tomorrow, Friday, day before the coronation, um, Clara has to go to school in red, white, and blue. So I've got her an England T-shirt, and I've got to find other clothes that fit the criteria. Yeah. Meanwhile, life's getting a bit easier for me, but it means I'm spending more time stopping, trying to figure out what I'm doing. I want to get a handle on things. I want to make sure that I know what's, you know, I want to be stable. Uh, it's going to take time. Don't know how long, but it's going to take time. I hope you're along for the ride. I'll see you tomorrow. That's ready. Why are you still here?
Go. Sorry, did you want a cup? Because I haven't got any left. 